Hey up faggots, welcome to my channel, my name is Daniel, as you can see I'm going to be sitting down, playing in makeup, talking shit, introducing myself, messing about, so there's not really going to be like any direction of where I'm going, it's not going to be like oh hey like I'm going to do this look or that look, I haven't messed about in makeup two years ago literally, I haven't worn it since, so yeah let's just get into it. So the first thing you do is moisturise your so yeah, let's <laughs> let's do it. So I'm just gonna grab some setting spray just to prime my face. I'm not really gonna put a focus on the products because I get trapped in that marketing vibe that is on YouTube and I like spend and waste so much money on makeup because someone will be like, oh, I use this product all the time. So if you recognize the products, cool. If you don't recognize the products, it, let's not cry over spilt milk. Oh, primed, delicious, I'm ready. Oh, I haven't wet my skin. Sponge. I'll be all right there. Okay, so <laughs> sponge wet. I don't really know if all my products are gonna be like safe to use. I recommend you following the like expiration date, but I'm not gonna go out and spend loads of money on new makeup because I literally spend too much when I couldn't afford it. So I'm not gonna throw it away just because I haven't worn it in a couple years. If I get any rash or whatever, that's my fault to stop talking about like the makeup for a second and just talk about like real shit. And to address something else, the thing that we are all going through simultaneously at this moment has messed my eyebrows up. My eyebrows are a mess. Let's not comment on that. Let's let's be productive. Let's be constructive. Let's not be rude because that's disrespectful. Let's just talk about the shit I'm talking about. Now I've done my foundation. Time's gone to concealer. But I I've finally got my own place, 23 years old and I've just moved out basically into my own place. Oh my god, you can tell I haven't worn it in so long, like I don't even know what I'm doing. Like it's not like riding a bike, like I'm probably gonna look a mess today but <laughs> I don't care. So I work in a <laughs> famous fast food enterprise business mogul but I don't really want to say where just because I don't think that that's really relevant. And it's an alright job to be fair, like I've had a lot of different jobs. Highly regarded companies that treat you like absolute rubbish. Companies that you'd think would be wonderful to work with. So the fact that I've gone to a place that literally everyone talks about as the worst job and the bowels of hell and everyone that works there is disgusting and stupid and to actually have like a really enjoyable experience. It's so strange to me, like this is the one job that I got where I was really worried about it and I was like I'm gonna not last a week, I'm gonna hate it. There's like nice people there it's a really fun atmosphere and no stress to it like it's honestly like changed my opinion of the place so much honestly this is a rant for a second can we stop judging people for having jobs like can we if someone's a bin man why does it matter let him be a bin man or let her be a bin man they are literally out there getting paid if someone wants to sell themselves if someone wants to clean up poo out of a toilet calm down like let them live let them get that money let them enjoy their life can we stop judging people for working calm down brenda yes yeah, so that was a tangent i talk a lot so yeah so sorry about the lighting i've got one under head light luckily it's white light you know i'm not gonna spend money on lighting if it's not gonna go anywhere you know i have a white background I have a light. I can edit the exposure in post, but other than that, <laughs> you're gonna deal with it. I, these, these might be a mess. I haven't cleaned these brushes in two years, and I'm pretty sure I used them before I put them away. Again, don't do what I'm doing, just listen to what I'm saying. This could probably end up in some very bad health, so I have some really exciting stuff coming up. And I can't talk about it yet. I've literally told like three people. Well, more than three people, but you know, like a very select few people. So that's really exciting. Don't know if it'll go anywhere, like, but also I really don't know what this is gonna look like. I don't have a mirror. <laughs> it could look a mess. And if it does, I tried. And that's all that matters. We tried, okay? Something in my brain is really telling me not to use these brushes. I'm trying to use like less powder. You just get tunnel vision. So when you haven't worn it in so long, you start looking back at pictures that you thought were so lit and so fabulous. And then it's like, oh, maybe I didn't need that much powder. So that's all I'm gonna do for a bake. Oh, 
Ooh, let's talk about this. That little Nas X video. That video is so iconic. So then this song releases, it's all over. Everyone's feeling conflicted about it. Some people love it, some people hate it. And I'm like, okay, let me try it. The song is so catchy for first. Okay, so what's next to talk about? My life. So I've tried doing YouTube in my life so many times and honestly, I always flop. The first time I did it, I was like really young and I was trying to like be someone I wasn't. Like for some reason, I put this stupid American accent on the whole time. And yeah, sometimes I mess about with accents and I'm like, I talk like an American girl, you know, all the time because it's like so fine. I never like showed my true accent. And it was like a character. It wasn't like I was purposely doing it. It's just for some reason, every time I filmed, I was like doing a stupid accent and it's like hello hello you're from Yorkshire why do you sound like a valley girl and then I, I like filmed a video in like 2000 and like 20 maybe 19 19 it was like really badly edited like my background was a mess I've tried it a lot of time Ooh, I don't know how much of that was showing but oh well I haven't shaved again it's locked down. My man is a little bit too accepting of me, so I don't shave. I'm a mess, but at least I'm happy with being a mess, you know? So now I'm gonna go ahead and set all of that cream and powder. So I'm gonna do like kind of a simple makeup like, you know, like super simple. So I'm in college at the moment, doing hair. So I'm not gonna go in with any cream eyeliner, I'm just gonna use a pencil. So yeah, so now I'm doing hair, which I never thought I'd be doing hair in college. But you know, I didn't really have a path in life. As much as I was saying I love my work and the job I have, it's not where I wanna be for the rest of my life, you know? I wanna have like something I'm passionate about. To be real, I got like stuck in this slump where I was like, what do I do with my life? And over a lot of reflecting, I was like, oh, well, I actually really like hair. It's really interesting. I wanna specialize in color, cause cutting hair gives me a lot of stress. And it's definitely a girl of mine. Looks good from far away. That's all that matters. And then I think I'm just gonna throw some black in the grease. Nothing special. Like I said, I'm just messing about in makeup, not trying to look cute today. I'm gonna be literally washing this off and going to bed. I just wanna like try and force myself back into the pattern of wearing makeup and why not film it? So now the bit I'm really anxious about, wearing two year old mascara. Uh, I don't think I should use that one. Okay, this one smells like mascara. This one's fine. I'll buy some more. I'm not gonna do my eyebrows today because I feel like at this point putting anything in those eyebrows is just gonna make it look worse. Trash. Savior. Thank you. So yeah, lips. Oh, if my lips, if my lipsticks are ruined, I'm gonna be so depressed. Oh, okay, this just smells like the fluffy niceness that I know it to be. Just a random one. I definitely am out of practice. Not my best work, but whatever. Okay, so this is the finished look. I'm gonna go brush my hair, put a shirt on, and we'll be <laughs> right back. Okay, so <laughs> I looked in the mirror, and definitely not my best work. Like, I haven't been doing makeup in two years, but it looks as if I am an eight-year-old just playing in my makeup. It looks okay from far away. The concealer wasn't blended. Nothing was blended. You know, if I was to blame, something because I love to blame other things other than myself. If I was to blame anything for that, it would be the fact that I don't have a mirror. So that's where we're at with the makeup. We're here. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Honestly, it was less about the makeup and just about like having fun. I'm definitely out practiced, so I want to like practice makeup again, just get back into the swing and just playing with it. Um, just because I miss it. Now I've gained a little bit of weight. I want to play with my new unanorexic face. So, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? From far away, I don't know what you guys are seeing when this is fully streamed in 4K and I've edited it, but from here it looks cute. Like, just looking at it in my phone, like... I look cute. So yeah, I hope you guys love this video. My name is Daniel once again. Um, it was so nice to meet all of you. And I hope to do more videos. I'm gonna go wash my face because I feel like a tramp. Not the look I was going for. Um, and hey, who knows if this goes viral, which I'm sure it will. I might like buy you <laughs> some lighting, you know, so I look cute. <laughs> Um, so yeah, smash my button, give me some likes, and um, if I get 10 likes on this video, I will do something. Don't know what. 
But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Stay gay, stay fresh, stay straight, stay whatever. Just stay being your son. I'm Daniel. I'm hot. Even with makeup, it looks like a three-year-old did it. But hey, a goodbye.